Uh, Ibrox, baby, it's, <laughs> oh man, it's just different. Hello and welcome back to another match preview and what a game that was the other day. Coming back for 2-0 down to beat Braga, big Haji there. He knows the score right on the money and let's just hope that great result was a fucking catalyst to turn this major <laughs> blip around man turn this season around hopefully it means we'll get fucking we'll go to portugal we'll get the job done and hopefully and then in the league we can just fucking hopefully stop slipping up against jobber teams that we should be beating or well, the very least i mean <laughs> just fucking perform better instead of this slugging oh man just done big stevie g even said braga went right up there and this is the guy that fucking was the, the holy Stan bull comeback so stevie g knows a comeback but he also knows a slip and that is what we've done since yeah winter break but we're taking on st johnson um on sunday who were absolute shit at the start of the season but they've seemed to um turn it around and obviously with the gap being temp i don't know when we're actually getting our game in hand back against celtic it would be fine it would actually be good to know if when it is and then therefore if we win that and then we know what we need to do against celtic instead of this whole oh well we're 10 points behind them but if we win our game in hand at seven but then how about we draw i mean we just need to get this game in hand out the fuck i don't know how it's going to fit in because the more we progress in the europa league the more it's going to be a, a total fucking shambles because there, I just don't see how there's going to be any way they're going to fit it in. Maybe if we get knocked out the cup, but I mean, what, you don't want knocked out the cup for the sake of fitting in a fucking job or Premier League game. I don't know. I mean, maybe during one of the international breaks, they'll have to move some game forward more in order to fit it in. Like, I just don't get it. I mean, it was because it, it was in December. And who were who Celtic playing? I can't remember. Celtic were playing somebody on the Wednesday. I think it was Hearts. But because of the TV hang, they made us play on the Friday, which therefore we couldn't play on the uh, Saturday or Sunday. Which, in my opinion, was just stupid. I mean, could I not have just had, like, fucking Celtic playing the Tuesday, us playing the Wednesday or something? And then Celtic and Hearts could have been on that. They, they could have both played on the Saturday before, so it could have given the free day gimmick. I don't know. They just need to fit this game in so we know what we're fucking doing. And then we can actually look at the league. But I mean, I do. I think the league is done, personally. But you never know. <laughs> you never know, man. If this is the catalyst for a turnaround, you never know. But I think it's 99.999 done. And then there's some Celtic fan comments on the fucking review. He's like, um, two away goals. And I'm like, no shit. And then he's like, 10 points clear. And I, and I fucking turned around and wrecked him. Ten, still 10 higher than your IQ, which is approximately zero, you dumb, inbred bastard. But anyway, in terms of this game, instead of me slabbering about uh, the SFA for scheduling games and the, the odd Celtic fan, I think we'll win. I do believe there will be some ca kind of catalyst. Well, I fucking hope so. Um, I'd like to see Morello scoring. Haji, I mean, see Haji since he's come in. See, he should have way more assists. And just from Alfredo alone, like Alfredo's been uh, missing a few chances, but his work rate's always there. He's always a nuisance. But hopefully, I mean, because the whole gimmick is, oh, he, he's won away for the 30 this season. And that's been like for the past almost two months. So yeah, hopefully he can get a few goals. But I'm going to go with a 3 1 win. We always like conceding um, a stupid job or goal. But I'm going to go with Alfredo, Haji, and Arfield. Because um, Haji and Arfield have been the two guys that have been in form recently and hopefully they will continue that but anyway i'm going 3-1 um and leave your thoughts down below so yeah leave your predictions down in the comments